Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to the our Archbishop, Dr. Harrison Nganga, my spiritual mother, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, Re all reverends present, all pastors, including my own mother, Pastor Nancy Wamaida, tunashukuru sana leo kwa kazi mzuri ya nyemefanya. Thank you so much. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Leo ni siku kubwa sana enye sisi kama business community tuko tumeigoja. Si kweli? So in our midst kuna presses ya our former vice president and future president Stephen Kalonzo Mosioka. Tuko na our principal Eugene Wamalwa. Tuko na former governor Wycliffe Ambesa Oparanya. Tuko na His Excellency Governor Sakaja, a future president also. Tuko na deputy governor. Na tuko na super MP, future president, Dende Nyoro. Kwanza kabisa kabla nitoe speech yangu. Ningetaka pia kutambua all the MCS wa Nairobi County, all the CECs, the, the, the county employees, wale wote wanawakuko tumekua tukufanya nao kazi, na shukuru sana kwa kuja kushikia na sisi. Kwa wakati humu ni kubalie, ni mwalike dende nyoro, akuje, alukutuakileshe watu wa Nairobi. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana dugu yangu. Mweshimiwa Amos Mwago. Awa klaji. Tukiogozo na Archbishop. Harrison Nganga. Pamoja pia na Reverend Lucy. Pia the Bishop abaya mekua kituongoza. Mike Karioki. Na all the entire klaji. Na asante ni sana kwa kutuogoza from the morning. Our political leaders, pia hapa tuko na our former vice president, His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka, our governor, and my brother. Mweshimiwa, Arthur Johnson Sakaja. My brother Pia, my brother Pia Mweshimiwa Mwago, who is our host MP, our host MCA, Mweshimiwa Kwenya, pamoja no, na all the other MCAs, viogozi wote wa Nairobi Business Community, tukiogozi wa na Buwana Ben Mutahi, na pia chairman wetu wa maobi ya leo, Mweshimiwa uh, Buwana Stephen eh, Wambia, na viogozi wote wa Nairobi Business Community, wanabiashara wote wa Nairobi na Kenya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wanabiashara wewe. Sana. Mimi nitakuwa mtache kwa maneno na mheshimiwa bishop wetu, our archbishop. Nimeomba niogee kwa machache na nikiwa wa kwanza kwa sababu tuko na hafla ya masomo kule wa Sindigishu County. Na kwa hivyo pegine nitaodoka kabla tumalize Although sita, o, sita odoka wakati tu nimemaliza Ya kwanza Nataka nitabue sana Wanabiashara wa Nairobi Na akbishop ni kueleze Walikuja kwa ofisi yangu Wakiogozo na buwana mutahi Na pia chairman wa maombi ya leo Na tuliogea mabo mengi Na ile nimejionea siku ya leo I can tell you authoritatively I could never have been at a better place today than here. Na wakati tumekua tumeka hapa chini na dugu yangu sakaja. Mimi nilikuwa na mueleza na, na, na mpea huispa. Unajua wakati tunafanya prayer breakfast ya viogozi. Sana sana inafanyika pare um, safari park. Mimi nitasihi raisi wetu kwa sababu nilafiki yangu. The kind of anointing we have seen here. We need a power breakfast here in Nairobi CBT.
na wakati mwingi tunaongea tunaongea kama viongozi saa zingine tunaongea tu kuongea but i want to assure you the kind of prayer the kind of anointing the kind of impact tutatoka nayo hapa siku ya leo najua Mungu atatujalia sisi wote na mimi niongeze pia pale Archbishop amesema tunatakia wanabiashara all the best kwa maombi ya leo and we can clearly see a new door is opening from today na kwa sababu nitasema tu machache ya kwanza mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba wakati tunapaga maneno ya uchumi tunajua kuna maneno kadhaa ambayo inakuja na ina ina affect maneno ya wanabiashara ambao wako hapa na ya moja ni kitu inaitwa currency kwa sababu bidhaa mingi ambazo tunashiriki nazo user hizo bidhaa zinatoka kutoka nje ya Kenya na mimi nashukuru sana kwa zile policies ambazo tumiogozwa na rais wetu kuweka tumeweza kuona ya kwamba shiriki ya Kenya inazozana na ya US na saa zingine ya US inaaguka chini and i want to assure the people of Kenya from where i sit also as the chairman of budget the Kenya shillings kwa ile mikakati tumeweka najua itaenda na kunawiri na kuna sababu ya kwanza tulio tunatoa nje kuliko zile tunapeleka nje na tuna kitu tunafanya ya kwanza inaitwa import substitution iko bidhaa migi tunaweza kuza hapa ambazo tunatoa nje na hizo sana sana ukiangalia maneno ya chakula edible oils is the number one import in the republic of kenya ile tumefanya katika budget ni kuweka hata begu ya sunflower begu za vitu kama kanora zile zinasaidia ukuzaji wa edible oils so that we continue substituting our imports kwa zile bidhaa wa Kenya wanakuza ya pili pia tumeweza kuona ya kwamba inflation katika nchi kama US na UK inaenda chini na inflation ikienda chini pale tunapata ile inaitwa remittance remittance hizi kiongezeka kwa wakenya ambao wako eh, pale nje nikienda kumaliza hawa wanabiashara walikuja ofisi yangu bishop na kuna jambo niliwaeleza nataka nirudie tukiwa wote tukiangalia katika ile maneno tunafanya ya kupanga uchumi iko zile uchumi tunaangalia kama our role models ya kwanza ni nchi ambayo inaitwa South Korea South Korea from 1960 ilipata kiongozi alikuwa anaitwa General Park na wao wakashika maneno ya government policy wakaitegeneza ya kufeva wanabiashara na wakategeneza policies zinaikuwa zinaitwa export led economy na hizo zilikuwa za kupromote wanabiashara kama hawa wako hapa kampuni kama Samsung ambayo mimi natumia simu yake ilikuwa kampuni ya kuuza eh, eh, dried fish kampuni kama Hyundai ilikuwa inategeneza bicycle bicycle na serikali ikawashika mkono even using government resources and those are the companies that we now see abazo ziko katika ulimwengu wote walitegeneza kampuni zinaitwa Chaibols abazo serikali deliberately kama wires hapa serikali inasaidia hiyo kampuni inakuwa manufacturer inauza hapa Kenya inauza nchi jirani inauza ulimwengu wote and i am sure we are headed there the second country ni kampuni ya China China uki kama ugeenda huko before 1978 ugekopesa mtu wa China pesa kama mkenya ugefika pale Beijing mtu wa China anakupigia saluti lakini walianzisha maneno ya uchumi waka tafadhali tuachane na huyo mwanabiashara wakaweza kuweka policies wakakuza uchumi ya China and i am sure the kind of policies tunaweka tunaegemea hapo ya mwisho na hapa munisikiza vizuri wanabiashara Munisikiza vizuri. Hawa wanabiashara viongozi wenu waliniomba ya kwamba wanataka bridge ya nyinyi kama wanabiashara wanyama kema na the entire Nairobi the bridge between yourselves and the government. Na mimi niliwaambia hivi. Mimi kama dede nyoro agalau mimi sikuwa nimefika hii level yenu. Nilijisomesha high school na maneno ya kuuza mutumba pale Dhika. Kwa hivyo niliwaambia maneno ya kutafuta bridge ya nyinyi na government mimi nimejiofa na nitafanya kazi yenu 
kufikisha matakao yenu kwa serikali na nikawaeleza tukimaliza hafra ya leo ya maombi nitaomba wanabiashara wote ambao wako na viongozi hapa tupange kikao na rais wa Kenya ndio mumueleze maneno ambayo nilielezo na viongozi wenu ya kwanza kuna tatizo ya KRA ya pili kuna tatizo ya counterfeit authority hiyo maneno lazima tuwaongee vizuri kwa sababu tunataka hawa wanabiashara waendelee na kupata nafuu kwa biashara zao na mukifanya hayo this is my last point i want to take you to one country nikimaliza na wanabiashara munisikize tunasoma katika magazine inaitwa Forbes ya kwamba one of the richest people in Africa ni mtu anaitwa Aliko Dagote kuna mwingine anaitwa Abswamad Rabiu wa kule Nigeria hawa walianza kama importers Dagote started as an importer of rice as an importer wa bidhaa kama zile tunafanya hapa kwa wana, hawa wanabiashara Rabiu pia alianza kama mwanabiashara wa imports kuleta bidhaa kama trader na serikali ikawashika mkono na wakaelezana ya kwamba yes import iko na faida na that is the reason why watu wanaleta bidhaa badala ya kutengeneza hapa one of the reason nataka tuende na wana nyamakema na the entire Nairobi tukaone rais wetu mimi niko na obi moja kama wewe ni mwanabiashara unauza bidhaa fulani ni vizuri ya kwamba if you are facilitated na vitu kadhaa ama kadhaa utaacha hata kuzileta you manufacture inside the country you, you employ Kenyans and you, you get even much more profit how watu ambao nimetaja kama huyo Dagote alienda aka increase akaweka maneno ya kumanufacture sukari mwenyewe akaenda akaweka kumanufacture cement and you know the profit of a businessman sio faida yake profit of a businessman is a common good utility kwa sababu wewe kama mwanabiashara hata ukipata bilioni moja you can only consume two litro kwa hivyo hiyo pesa ingine unapata kama capital inasaidia nchi sana kuliko vile inakusaidia that is why tuliona dagote aliweka kiganda ya cement sasa anaweka the biggest refinery in africa maneno ya oil i can see here at bishop even these traders some of the importers becoming manufacturers in the republic of kenya i can see from here nyamakema mtu abaye ana deal na textiles yeye ameweza kutengeneza textile yake hapa Kenya anauza Kenya anauza nchi jirani hata anauza ngambo and that is what we wish you we wish you all the best and may god bless you all Ndote sana mheshimiwa uh, Dini Nyoro uh, we are sure huu uchumi wetu ukiwa katika mkono yenu na rais itaendelea vizuri Thank you. Thank you DJ. I think nimeonelea kwa sababu mheshimiwa uko na haraka kidogo. Eh nimeonelea pia wanabiashara walikuwa menitumwa kwako. Na nimesikia maneno mengi walikufikishia. Na that's the situation. In this country we only have two forms of employment. The formal ya kusoma na informal. Hapa kwetu tunafanya informal employment. Ukiangalia sisi ni watu tumejiajiri kibiashara. Na hii ni sekta ambayo imeajiri watu wengi sana, thousands of people. Hapa Nyamakima Gikomba, hii ni sekta ambayo imeemploy so many of our people. Wenye hata wengine wa kusoma wa kupata degrees, but they have become they have come here and they are millionaires and they have gone on to employ so many people. The real issue pia hapa kitu tunataka utuangalie sana ni mambo ya taxation. These taxes are draining our people na ndio naona hizi industry saizi they are not growing. Na hii ni industry yenye metulia mimi mwenyewe nimelelewa hapa na mama yangu nyokabi hapa na the business community mimi ni mtoto wa hii area lakini sasa hizi ukiangalia biashara zimestagnate I think leo nilikuwa siku ya maombi leo si siku ya siasa sana lakini ningesikia lazima niite my deputy minority whip akuje asalimiane my twin brother Why I'm jumbo very brief
kwanza ni kuwashukuru watu wa starehe kwa kumchagua huyu mbunge anaitwa Mwago tumefanya kazi na yeye pamoja and i want to thank sababu hao biashara zao we can help community and you know in our bps uliongelea vile tutasaidia the SMEs. we can put money there tutaweza kuwasaidia so that we can grow he the our all the 17 constituents within Nairobi and I'm sure if we work as a team we can be able to grow Nairobi Sitaki kusema zaidi hapo because kuna viongozi Asante sana mwishmiwa mwago and let me congratulate you Bishop Asante sana Thank you Thank you mwishmiwa mwenje Mimi sasa sina mengi ya kusema mina ata kushukuru kanisa kwa siku ya leo na kwa hiyo anointing ambo ya mefanyika hapa starehe I remember one of my campaign pledges to make Starehe a prayerful constituency. And I can see God is doing that now. Na wenye tumekuja hapa, Bishop mesema hapa ni kama msalaba. Hii tent wenye meko ni kama msalaba. Meaning this anointing is going to spread to all corners of this country. To all the corners of Nairobi. And to all corners of Starehe. I'm so happy and I'm so happy to be part of this. Pia nataka nishukuru governor for <laughs> kutupatia hii chance ya kufanya hii nini. I also want to thank the organizing committee for organizing a very successful prayer meeting. Mimi na washukuru sana na nashukuru sana wananchi wa starehe. Thank you for giving me a chance to serve. Thank you so much. Naapenda sana na asanteni sana. Mungu wabariki na mungu watendewema. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mwishimu uh, Mwago. I think at this point, uh, I would like to uh, invite uh, His Excellency uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka so that he can come and address us because he wants to leave early. Your Excellency. Asante, kabla sija endelea, tuliona ni vizuri kando na sadaka ambao kila mwaja wetu wa metoa na sisters kume the organizers. Naona mejaribu sana. Kwa hivu timu yangu na mimi tunameleta laki ine, 400,000. Tutampatia chairman Kuna moja 50 natolewa kwa simu ya mwishmua Eugene Omalo Thank you very much Thank you You've done well Thank you very much I know the governor and Ndindi have tried to help you Yes Thank you Bwana Yesu asifiwe Naomba vijano wa vuvuzela Naomba vuvuzela Mutusikilize Tuna mambo muhimu kidogo. Kwanza naomba tusalimiane kuna maajabu pande hiyo na hata pande hiyo. Mimi sina mengi. Kwanza na wajulishwe nzangu hapa alafu ni kamilishe. Uh, I saw Mheshimiwa Ndolo. Ndolo mnamfahamu sana kutoka Makandara. Of course uh, Mheshimiwa Mark Mwenje umemwona Eh, Mwishmua Senator Mahanzo alionekana ni mdogo sana But he's actually That young man and Senator from Makweni Is the chair of the National Prayer Breakfast In Parliament I think mention was made of that matter And I was privileged several years to have started the whole thing Wale ambao tumekuja ni sija ni kawasau Simameni tu Na mwona shektuaha Hiyo ni timu ya waipa hapa Nairobi. Tuwapigie makofi. Wa 
work with that <laughs> thank you thank you light basi adia for machakos ellen deti eh eh kuna mwingine ambaye atani atanionea mabaya you know askofu these leaders are if you don't recognize them you get into immediate trouble uh but i really like like the mca for the area continue with us please and god will be there for you uh, i've got to a stage where i can bless even young leaders and then it was good listening to you um at the end nitaomba tu kuna kijana mimi na mwenzi na mheshimu kijana kwa umri mdogo akaamua kuwa servant of the living god anaitwa Israel Mbonye natoka nji jirani ya Rwanda na what archbishop nanga has done to the business community ametoa wa jasiri siri yenyewe iko hapa ujasiri ndio umesalia at the end i want us to see the jijini ndio kama tujana because is a whole party leader and then uh, i think the acting leader wa jijini very big. dadi askofu Margaret Wanjiru na wenzangu walio hapa kwanza niwashukuru sana kutualika hapa kawaida huwa tunafanya maombi tunaombea serikali na wakubwa lakini kikao hiki ni cha kipekee nishukuru maaskofu na waliopanga mpango huu tuombee wanabiashara na wote tumekuja hapa tulipata mwaliko kutoka kwa kanisa tuje tuombe nanyi siku ya leo kuna wenzetu walitaka wawe nasi lakini wako mbali na wametutuma na salamu zao akiwemo na tumekuwa naye jana kule uh, katika ACK Church aliyekuwa rais wetu wa nne wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta tumekuwa naye All Saints kwa mazishi ya mamake Musheru nikamwambia nitakuwa hapa na wa Kalonzo kuomba na wanabiashara akanituma na salamu mezipokea Baba wetu Raila Molo Odinga vile mnajua anatafuta mambo ya EU ametuma salamu mmepokea Mama wetu wanga, Martha Wangare Karua angekuwa hapa lakini yako mbali kidogo Bwana Kioni ndugu yetu Iria Nderitu Mreidi alikuwa gavana wa laikipia wote wametuma salamu kwa wanabiashara na kusema ya kwamba tuko pamoja. Na pia tushukuru sana Mheshimiwa Dindi Nyoro kuja hapa kuwakilisha serikali kuu. Tushukuru vile vile gavana wetu my brother Sakaja. Sababu wanabiashara hawa wanahitaji support ya serikali kuu na serikali ya county kweli si kweli. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo naunga ule, ule mpango umewekwa. Na nashukuru sana MCA wa hapa rafiki yangu sana ya kwamba tuwe na siku moja kwa mwezi tuwe tunakaa na wanabiashara na kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu. Hii inaweza kuwa forum ambayo tunaweza semezana. Na zaidi tusikie kwa wanabiashara wenyewe ni nini kimewafinya? Mnataka msaada gani? Na tuwe na representation from the national, the county governments lakini pia upinzani tuwe hapo. Sisi pia ni watu wenu. So leo tuko hapa na bwana Nyoro iko kitu imefinya hawa na biashara imefinya wakulima na wakenya wengi na hiyo ni mambo ya ushuru ushuru uko juu na ukiwa juu mzigo ukiwa kwa wanabiashara ukiwa kwa wakulima mapato yao yanakuwa madogo na hayo yakiwa madogo maisha yanakuwa magumu so tunaomba bwana nyoro akienda sababu the budget policy statement inaonyesha ya kwamba finance bill inayokuja 2024 itaongeza ushuru zaidi kuliko finance bill ya 2023 ambayo iliongeza mambo mengi sana. So bwana Nyoro ukienda ongea na mkubwa wako ili mulegeze kidogo minyonyo, minyororo ya ushuru wananchi wapumue. Tuko pamoja Mungu awabariki.
Wanabiashara oye. Aji bishop. Sija kutana na wewe ana kwa ana. Leo nimekutana na wewe. Nataka ni kusalimu. Uh, mama mwechimiwa bishop wanjiru pole sana niliwona ukiliadia nikasema ni ukiona mama analiadia unaona uruma kabisa kwa sababu huyu mama ni mama mbaya na amesaa watu sindio lakini nikija siku ya leo kwanza nataka ni washukuru wale ambao waliotualika hapa kuwa na wanabiashara hapa na mimi nimekuwa waziri wa mipango katika ile serikali ya Kibaki na wakati tulikuwa tunafanya mipango kitu ya kwanza ni kuangalia mambo ya kazi watu watapata kazi namna gani kazi inaweza kupatikana sekta ya serikali au private sector na private sector ndio inaandika watu wengi kabisa kwa hivyo nyinyi mkiwa hapa na tukiwa na serikali ambayo inajali nyinyi nyinyi ni watu wa maana kabisa katika nchi hii kwa sababu ni nyinyi ambao mnaandika watu ni nyinyi ambao mnalipa ushuru ambao unafanya kazi zingine kusaidia wananchi kwa hivyo tindi nyoro wewe ukiwa kama chairman wa budget committee ikija kwa mambo ya finance bill mnataka muangalie policies zile ambazo zitasaidia wananchi hawa kuna wiri wakinawiri pia inji itanawiri na itafanya mambo mengi kwa hivyo na washukuru wote ambao wamepata nafasi kuja hivi na mukiwa na mkutano mwingine sisi pia tuko tayari kuendelea kuwa na nyinyi karibu Mungu awabariki msaidie tafadhali yule mwimbaji alikuwa hapa wonderful singer Eh aje nisaidie. <coughs> Nina siri na ye Yesu yanifanya niwe jasiri. Kwa mani na yodiki yanifanya niwe jasiri. Yani burudisha nikiwaruka. Hosana ame Kwa nini ya mwishishima metuka ima ya? Ya nifanya niwe jasiri Kwa mani na yotiki Ya nifanya niwe jasiri Ya nifurudisha Ya nifurudisha Nikiruka ruka Kwa sana hape Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I'll use your microphone. Yeah, you know I'm not as tall as Ndindi. Uh, but I think I'll use this. Ah, uh, Santo. Uh, a brother, a bishop, Nanga. I think it's the same. I think it's the same. I think I'll still use this one. Uh, Santo, just adjust it a little bit. Just a little bit. Thank you. Uh, Tulikuta wakati maubiri ilikuwa inaendelea na 
yale ambayo tulipata kujumuika nayo imenisaidia sana mimi na na believe the Nairobi business community i have a problem with bishop the organizing committee wamejitambulisha hata kwa mpesa as nbc <laughs> nairobi business community ai kanisa langu hapa nikiwa nairobi ni nairobi baptist church nbc <laughs> Kwa hiyo nadhani mapato mengine yataelekea huko. <laughs> na kumbukeni wakati mwingine tulikuwa sisi na kina Raila tulisikia mambo ya Nairobi Business Community. Ah, uoga ulikuwa unaingia kabisa. <laughs> Kulikuwa Uhuru Park akufikiki. Kumbe we can have a beautiful Nairobi Business Community in uh, a beautiful place. Kamukunji hapa what is the name of the street again imakima not even yamakima hapa eh uh-huh. river road yenyewe when i was young growing up baba yangu alikuwa na akuja kununua vitu kwa duka ya wahindi hapa before the africanization policy inchi kawa yetu kwa hivyo uoga ni kitu kibaya and i don't want to preach I just want to say it as it is mali tumefika sisi wengine tuna mwenzi tu Mwenyezi Mungu wengine tunakosoana and we tell it as it is kwanza ukijana mjumbe wenu wastare is one of you yani bana <laughs> mwana mwango kijana hata mama yake wenyewe I was told I did a little uchunguzi watu wakikomba yeah, ni kama mama alikuwa na duka hapo huyu ni mtoto mzaliwa hapo na naelewa shida zenu. Eh hey, mama ako hapo. I think kura nyingi ulichaguliwa ulipatiwa na mama because it's a business business lady. And uh, sasa hivi ili muendelee shida tulio nayo Kenya hii Mheshimiwa Senator Sifuna amefika. Tunakukaribisha sana Senator wa Nairobi. And, and I think at the inch. Kwa hivyo this is serious work. Kutoka leo Bishop I look for you. Because I know you. I know the power of prayer. And together with these others, Bishop Margaret tunasema pole, ni lazima tuheshimu pia mahali pa kuabudu. Constitution 2010 is very clear on these issues. So if we either worship God in truth sincerely with integrity of heart and spirit inchi taenda mbele lakini atakuwa we get it for practical spirit wanakuja wanaenda wanyenyekea mbele zake Mwenyezi Mungu and the opposite is kuumiza watu wetu wengine sisi hatutakubali kwa heshima zote now was it uh, mark mheshimiwa emos I thought you said the uh, presidents watarajiwa future president <laughs> ukasema ndindi ni mmoja wao sakaja ni mmoja wao si hawa ni ndugu zangu ndogo ngoja kalonzo kwaza aende <laughs> I'm quite sure they can afford we have some business to do we have the business ya kuimarisha Kenya hii to make it a respectable nation and to be able to play the role of a very effective very effective opposition on BNNG and Kanisa this time we want to hear the voice of the church bwana yesu asifiwe